everyone, Viper Coach back here with another video. And today we are going to be show I'm going to be showing you what the quickest method is for Booga Booga how to like make levels and whatever. Like get XP and to get the magnified armor and whatever. So right now I've paid for the goober bag, which is this, which gives you a lot more room than the magnified bag, see? Almost full. Nearly not full. It's a lot better. It's kind of like the god bag, but if the god bag had a similar brother. So, for this method to work, you have to go over to, like, the May Island here. And you have to start chopping away at, right next to the, these gold chunks, or gold chunks around the map. Right? But if you mainly come here, you mainly get some good stuff, like... I'd recommend doing this in a private server because a lot of people will just hesitate just to kill you while you're mining and you wouldn't have an iron or whatever pickaxe that you have. I recommend to you when you're trying to mine, if you're trying to mine in like a, a public server, uh, always have blood fruit because that always heals you up like real fast. Auto clickers are definitely helpful when mining gold. Because look, look at, I'm already at 600, but I've just mined this whole entire area. See, that's not how you get the gold, or get the XP levels, or whatever you want, magnified or whatever. I'm sure, I'm sure people have found out this, but you can mine this guy right here. Now you can take the time and mine him a lot, or you can take that 19 gold and place down a couple of campfires, right? For instance, I can only put down two, but that's fine. Now, if you want some god armor, that could be coming out in later updates. Then you might want to save up your gold bars. If not, then you don't have to. And now with these gold bars, you can... Well, I don't have them. But... You have to have, if you have enough levels, which if you don't, then keep mining the gold there and keep smelting it. You want to get the coin press. Now what the coin press will do is it will make, co like, it'll give you a smelted gold and it'll make it into coins. And you can see how much coins you have up at the top left. I wish I said top right for some reason. But we're gonna head over here, smelt the six raw iron. You can get the ra the six raw iron from right over there. The stone you can get from somewhere over there as well. But I'd recommend if you have enough, get some resource chests. Cause that'll also give you wood and stuff. We right now smelt up the raw iron here. There we go, pretty quick. So pick up the raw iron, and now craft a coin press. How the coin press works is you click this right here, and you produce, well, coins. Now if you produce too many coins, the game will lag, so. I would, I would recommend if you're not doing this in a private server, put it in a box, because it'll go everywhere. I'm not joking, you see how far this went? Yeah, and it gets you a lot of coins, and you can use that coins for your XP. And now you can go over here and mine this again, and do the loop over again. I'm just gonna get to 20,000. Or, no, 2,000, just 2,000, not 20,000, what am I thinking? But you can also set up farms to farm blood fruit while you're doing this. And it's not that bad. Okay, so now that I have 2,000 here, right? We're just gonna go ahead and smelt this up. Now, with this, you can see right here, essence chests. Now, you wanna have like a circle area or somewhere where it won't go all flying away. Of course, I don't have that right this second, but I might go, I'm gonna go chop down this tree over here. Because what you need for it is you need a wood gate. I'd say get a hut and then a wood gate. So you need six logs in total. So 
So I'm just gonna go ahead and chop these trees down here. Okay. Let me go get this one over here. Also, if you want to find the blood fruit, the blood fruit's on these plants right over here. You can hit them. You can hit these type of plants or whatever they're called. And it'll give you blood fruit. The blood fruit will drop. And it's really helpful when in combat. I can tell you that right now. I can pick up the sticks or whatever. Logs. Okay, so let's get another log just in case. So we got a hut. We're gonna put. We're just gonna place the hut like facing that way. It doesn't really matter where you place it, as long as you have like a hut and a wood gate. All this stuff should be inside, but don't overload it, cause then it'll go on the roof. Let's just say right there. Okay. Well, I need to break this again because I placed it in the wrong spot. It's whatever. Like. <laughs> I am a dumb dumb. Now I need one more. I know this is taking a while. If you want to skip ahead, you can. Just like a couple seconds. But if not, sure. You can do that too. Now I'm just going to break down this small tree. I got the leaves and logs. And now I'll put the wood gate to where I can actually get to it. Right there. There we go. That's better. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to press Z and just. I don't think it would be best. For you to just let the auto clicker drop them. It makes a really loud noise, but that's not from from, the, from like space or whatever. Okay. Now we break it. Oh, it's on top. Uh oh. See, yeah, that's what I mean, but it'll go everywhere. Dear God, it's all on top. Oh God, it's flying everywhere. Yeah, some will clump up like this, so you just all you gotta do is click on them. Flying debris. See, yeah, that that house technique, it, it worked a long time. I think they patched it. I don't know. I think they did. At least I think they I think so. Either I'm just a dum-dum and I've never done it before, and... You just want to build, like, a box area. That's really all you want to do. Okay, I'll just build a box area here. I'm gonna just destroy this hut. And I'll just make like a, a whatever hut. Oh, there's another piece of essence in the wall. Okay, so now that you have the box and whatever, yeah, you can open a chest and it won't go through. This is, this is basically what you want to do, yeah. It's just got a lot of stuff in it. Stone and leaves and whatever. But yeah, that's, that's the most efficient way to get levels so far in this game. So, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!